Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be going straight into the Bitcoin chart here. We've got some great volatility even this morning and over the past week it's been nothing short and uh, just brilliant. And uh, what I want to go over here is the ascending triangle that we have once again on bitcoin we we know bitcoin loves loves its triangles and what we have this morning is another one quite simply where you can kind of see this as your high and then we can see our building up of the higher lows so really simply what you can see here is our first high and then we've gone down for our low retesting the high retesting that higher low retesting the high retesting that higher low and now you're coming up once again to the top of this triangle as you know well you might not know i suppose but basically the more you test a resistance the weaker it gets and we could get this break literally as we're speaking here uh the more times you test a resistance the weaker it gets so one has to imagine now that this 16k resistance is is weak and one would expect a breakthrough uh obviously you always have to be aware of the swing failure patterns and, and basically what that means is a move above the level uh, before you flush back down so that's something that i'm always aware of you don't really preset okay you never really preset for swing failure patterns because it's it's not something that you you can have an idea that it's going to happen of course but you don't really uh trade for it until you've actually seen the evidence that it's there uh, so obviously if you get no swing failure pattern then i think you got a weekly above you which is 16,224, and then this is a level that i've just got off of offhand that i remember of one-to-one -one extension which is about sixteen thousand five hundred dollars you have a key level here um which is 16,740 and, th and then you have your daily all the way up at $17,210 so quite a way off um but you know it really wouldn't put, I wouldn't put it past bitcoin um but that, that's your highest daily level okay and then obviously on the flip side you've got your daily all the way down there it's 14,842 which we did bounce off of really nicely on the 9th of November and really I'd say like intraday well, the, the things that I'd be aware of now are quite simply one of one of two things is really what I would be looking for. I'd be either waiting for that swing failure pattern, okay, which does obviously line up for a short. I, I'm only in a long, by the way. So at the moment, I'm only in a long position. I, I'm not in a short, but I would take a short if we swing failure. But as it stands, I'm, I'm not trading, obviously, for that at the moment. Um, I'm looking for a, for a push up, whether that swing failure pattern is high or not. That's to be decided, but... I think in, in trading, it's important to be aware and prepared for every scenario, because if I was only only prepared, you know, if I only had a plan for this absolutely pumping, then, um, you know, what happens if it's swing value plans, you know, so you've got to be aware. So I think I'm, I'm in a long position. I'm looking for a push up this, today and I'm looking for a potential swing fire plan. If no swing fire, then I know where I'm looking for next, which is the weekly slash 16,500. Um, and obviously, if you look at triangle targets, then it's going to give you a pretty big one. You take it from the low of the triangle up to that high, and then you expand this from the breakout. That's giving you targets of around $17,600. Okay, and if you do prepare yourself for the downside, then if you do break this triangle to the downside, then you'd obviously be looking down towards that 14000 monthly 13,800 level. So you have two bigger targets depending on how this breaks. A bigger target of 17,600 and a lower target of 13,800. Um I I I wouldn't imagine that if I'm totally honest, I wouldn't imagine that it trades so perfectly in terms of oh you break the high you go you know you go straight to 17,600 or you break the low you go to 13,800 nuts. It's very unlikely I would have thought that that happens um and it really looks like we're just about to try and break up here that's obviously brilliant um <clears throat> so you've seen a lot of uh, quite a lot of aggressive buying into these highs but um you know you, you generally like to see a little bit more follow through when you get such aggressive buying into the highs but it takes a little bit of time sometimes uh <laughs> this is where I could, we could just refer to the group apparently es is starting to push as well and gc2 uh, so that's obviously that is a that is a positive for bitcoin so should we take a look at those two as well Obviously, we're always aware. This is where we have eyes on everything. We have eyes on everything, literally. Uh, that that 382 speed fan. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. It was perfect. And uh, let's take a look at the ES and GC then. So, uh, yeah, 
there you go es uh sorry this is gold so gold is pushing upwards so that's obviously coinciding with this bitcoin push and es uh well es is well it's pushing up but obviously not at the same rate uh um yeah yeah i think that this is obviously a positive for bitcoin so i would like to see it push through here it's just hit again the exact sixteen thousand and two dollars so you've got a slight move over 16k it's obviously on the Bybit exchange. This is where I primarily primarily chain trade right now. And I will share with you. Um, well, basically, I've, I've been doing a lot of uh, statistic type work where I'm, 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 I'm really curious and interested uh, because I feel that you always want to get like the slight, even if there's a slight edge on the market, you always want to try and get that slightest edge, even if it's something really, really, really small. And so I like to, you know, I like to trade order flow. And what order flow is, is, is essentially this. So you get to see where people are buying, where people are selling. So it's, it's not it's not any type of guesswork. You're actually seeing real numbers. You're actually seeing executed trades. And so I have the option of looking on this at OKEX, Binance, Futures, uh, Bybit. We got BitMEX, obviously. And so I've been tracking them all uh, to work out which which one is the best. And, and honestly, the Bybit order flow um, is really, really important. You know it's really impressive right now and i will show you this bit of statistics as, as of why in my opinion it is so helpful okay so i will just load this up and i'll share this where this is the the top row uh is the futures volume so this is your futures in billions so by bit moving on to about two billion yesterday and this was two days ago apologies but two days ago you can see how it's overtaken bitmex and this is influential as to why the order flow is is so much better right now you know binance obviously has more volume but the order flow is just oh it's just absolutely awful um it's not really tradable sorry i just had to take a quick break as i managed to trade and we are now back so what i was saying was well it's about that uh talking about the open interest and volume statistics and i found it here as well uh this is but data then from the ninth so this is from the 9th. So uh, the other data was from the 10th. So this is obviously showing us here then prior to that, how the difference between Bybit and BitMEX is getting bigger and bigger by the day. I feel this is because of, well, we all know the problems that BitMEX have had, but nevertheless, it's a, it's a positive for Bybit and it's order flow software. As you see some fairly large trapped longs currently up at those highs. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's definitely not game over yet. But, um, yeah, so that, that's kind of the analysis I wanted to give you today. It was highlighting once again that we've got an ascending triangle on Bitcoin. It's the reasoning of why one has to stay. I I, I think you've got to be, well, I, I, I don't want to tell you what to do, but I myself am looking for higher prices. I am prepared for a swing failure pattern. Well, I think if you're given a swing failure pattern, you've got to, you've got to short them whether or not that literally you got a swing failure pattern last night and it obviously ended in a higher low and pushed back up so the same could absolutely happen again okay where we just build another higher low and push back up but i think you've got to you know there's no point in only trading long on bitcoin you've got to you've got to be able to trade both ways or if you don't enjoy trading both ways at least hold swing long let's say swing long positions while sculpting shorts so, you know that's a sensible tactic in my opinion anyway in an uptrend because you know we're, we are in an uptrend but at the same time, there's money to be made on the downwards movements. Okay, so it's, it's kind of like a, just a protecting your capital strategy, I suppose, at the very least. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that, that's, that's my analysis for you from today. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's what I wanted to end with. Uh, a few bits of news to end, actually. Um, obviously, we did, in the end, finish fifth place in the Femex competition. And I actually was thinking that well, I want to do my own competition where um, people can trade individually. So people can trade on their own and then we put together some form of prize pool um i don't know like five bitcoin prize pool and then whoever wins like literally gets the bitcoin uh maybe like in put it into top 10 but i want to do my own trading competition rather than um off of like a team-based one i think it would be interesting to do a a you know almost like a giveaway type thing and it's, instead of just giving away bitcoin it's like okay we'll give away bitcoin but you got to actually uh, work for your bitcoin you gotta you know you gotta show some trading skill so that's something that you can stay tuned for which i think will be very interesting 
And lastly, we have created a Telegram group because Discord was having some problems. So basically, we created a, some Telegram group chat and a channel. Um, I'll put that in the description below as I am going to go back and trade Bitcoin as it is trying to go and to attempt this high. So this is where we want to be watching for that swing fire pattern or not. Uh, so I hope you have a brilliant day, everybody. I'll leave this in the description below. And congratulations once again on the team. The um, prize pool has been shared out. That will be in your account right now. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the trading competition that I want to host and give away some Bitcoin in a in a nice way, I suppose. There we go. I got to go trade this. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.